Tubes. Thank you so much for joining me here on Lele Mutams TV on Facebook and Lele Mutams TV on YouTube. Please remember to share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook platform. Guys, thank you so much for more than 110,000 views for the video of me cleaning the kitchen. And of course, I'd like to say thank you to my daughter, Ellen, who is behind the camera and is assisting me. And I believe she will pass her GCE exams, GCSE exams, as they call them in the United Kingdom. Thank you so much, Ellen. We love you for your support. In this video, guys, I would like to do a quick meal cooking. You know, I'd like to just cook something simple for you. And it's a meal where you guys can be bachelors or spinsters and you just want something to cook quickly especially when you have visitors so it's um f a special fried rice and pork so something simple so let's start with the marinating and then we start cooking the rice Come here. okay so today i'm preparing uh british shoulder shoulder steaks pork um with rice as i've said so I'll open this. The good part in the United Kingdom is that they sell us in these packs, which you can easily marinate in there and just store your, your food there. So I'm gonna open that pack and then we marinate. So I start with guys. As a Zambian, I always buy spices from Zambia. Unfortunately, my spices <laughs> are running out, but I've got this one, which is T-bone spice. So before you marinate, uh, you first start with oil. So you pour a bit of vegetable oil. So guys, in case you're wondering why I've not washed um, the meat, in the UK, most of the times, they sell things that are already washed out. Why you didn't wash the meat? Okay, so you put a bit of oil, yeah. So the reason why for putting the oil is the oil gives your your meat accessibility when we put <laughs> the the season. Okay. Okay. So I have this T-bone spice, so I'll use that one. Just one of those that they sell in Zambia. So I, I wouldn't know. It's already got salt, right? So you don't need salt. So you pour in there. Okay. Got a little black pepper left. <laughs> I we cook a lot here, guys. I buy pepper from black pepper from Zambia. It's got a little bit. And then we've got this one, which is an amazing seasoning as well. Uh, <coughs> so what you do is you make sure that the seasoning goes in. Oh, this little paper, I don't need it. So guys, I have marinated. It depends on what you want. I use some limes as well. And I will leave this there whilst we cook and wash some rice. So I'll use my paper towel just to cover there. It's up to you. You can use cling film, whichever you want to use, or even this. I'm doing it the Zambian way. So let's uh, put our spices back. I like to organize my spices in the drawers and I 
enough to clean my kitchen guys i don't joke around with my kitchen okay so let's wash some rice so guys let me get the rice i pre-washed it but for the sake of our people online who might think we didn't wash the rice i'm washing it again come let's wash the rice So with fried rice, we are just cooking the rice a little bit for it to be pre-cooked and then we will fry it. So that's the reason why you realize that I have quite a lot of rice. It's up to you what you want, guys. Me, I want to cook a lot because I have a large family. <laughs> we have too many children in this house. rice we'll start cooking and then we wait keep on watching this video With the rice, we need to put a little salt, just a little salt, and a little bit of oil, just a little bit. So guys, how did I know to cook this rice? I used to live with um, the Ghanaian community in Reading. And my friend Nana Ekuya, who's still my friend up to now, taught me how to cook this rice. Because I'm one person, when I love a certain food, I must learn to cook it. So that's how I learned how to do this. It's absolutely an amazing taste. You will love it. Trust me. So with the rice, um, I'm, I've reduced the, the heating, but there's some products that I'm going to be using, and that's my mixed vegetable as part of the fried rice, and prawns for the fried rice. I loved, these are juicy prawns from Tesco. And then I've cut already my onions and garlic for the meat, and then for the rice and these other things. Um, so guys, um, with me, I love cooking. And my children prefer my cooking all the time. Like, mommy, why don't you cook? I'm like, I'm lazy. I'm busy. You know, I'm a diva. <laughs> so guys, I just want you guys to learn this. It's a mighty formula. So you don't need to cook your rice very, very much. It should just be cooked just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's why I put even not too much water and we're gonna fry the rice shortly. Very quick and easy. So we're gonna be using soy sauce. Now funny enough guys, um, this is reduced uh, salt of soy sauce. The first time I'm seeing this, uh, which has been uh, introduced by Amoy. This is a company that we normally use. Um, you know, you get soy sauce from them, from Tesco. Tesco is like our shop nearby here but there's other shops as well like Sainsbury's so, mm, that's soy sauce amazing
guys so we fry the onions yeah onions and then add egg we we'll break one egg So we add eggs and then we start adding our rice and soy sauce. Okay. Like I said, it's a quick meal, guys. Just that I have to explain, otherwise, Tima Beach touch a bit fast, 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 fast already cooking. Fast, 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 you fry, fry. Depending on your rice, uh, today I'm using long grain rice, but you can use whichever rice. And if it's macaroni, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. yeah. so you fry the egg and the rice like that together. So you can do it in bits and pieces. That's what normally we used to do. Okay, but it tastes better, it tastes well. Okay, so you can see how it looks like as it's frying. That's how you make your fried rice, guys. Okay, so I then add a bit of salt if you want to, but a bit of salt. Continue frying. Then we add our soy sauce. So this is where the soy sauce comes in. You pour it in like that. It's a quick, quick meal, guys. You just want to serve your visitors. You want them to test your amazing cooking. You just pour some little eggs and little onions and soy sauce. After boiling your rice just a little bit, like and the reason why it starts is because we are frying it here and we are also going to add the vegetables and the prawns to see what so the whole idea of the soy sauce is that your rice changes color it will definitely change color the brownish like that so guys i'll then add my prawns and my prawns that's the reason why i did not cook my rice so much because my prawns here so don't i love seafood i love seafood so prawns doing it this and then we have to also test if it's tasting nice mm, so far so good nice yummy yum 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 and the rice is cooking good guys remember i'm not a chef i'm just somebody who enjoys cooking my meals all right guys then you will take your mixed vegetables um, you don't need to uh, buy the exact same ones but these are the ones I prefer and they are frozen so and there. so the reason why we are adding the vegetables is to add a bit of color to your food otherwise if you don't add uh, vegetables your rice will be okay but not so colorful you can see how colorful my rice looks so far <laughs> I was taught well guys 
so that, that's one of the things that i love doing i just love cooking i'll just wake up and say, i need to cook this and that and ellen the one behind the camera i said mommy i'm going to the shop where do you do the shopping what do you want what what do you want me to buy so that i can I, uh, you can cook and then i can go and buy that's how she starts they know that she wants me to cook some food for them yeah guys one thing i forgot to tell you is that i'm using a never stick pot pan. i i don't like things sticking around when i'm cooking i want to wash my pot hey, that's yes daniela the food is cooking the food is almost ready baby girl Again, guys, if you're in a hurry, you can cook. Yes. <laughs> there goes Daniela who interrupts all of her videos. It's, she must interrupt. I eat all the vegetables. Yeah. The vegetables, yeah, you will eat. So, guys. I don't like tomato. You don't like tomato? No. Why? I like Daniela I likes like carrots. Oh. Like, <laughs> so guys, like if you want the vegetables again, you can like boil them a little bit I to cook like them back because I, I like wanted them to cook food. together. Yeah, yeah. For what I have put you through I still have you on my mind My mind My focus been drifting away from you Just wasn't our time Our time You can say, you can say all you want But I know you hurt at night But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold you is that you can have your boiled rice in a pot even in the fridge and then when you have visitors you can use the soy sauce and all the ingredients i talked about if you don't like prawns you can remove the prawns but just you know fry your 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 rice and it will taste fresh that's the whole idea so each time i'm serving food i don't like cook it now 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 for 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 later no like if um, Ellen wants to eat it later, I'll just come and fry for her and she'll wait for me to fry for her and the food will be fresh. No problem, Daniela. So the food is ready and I'm gonna dish it in the bowl there since Daniela says she's hungry and she'll eat. So this is how, as you can see, even the vegetables are cooked. So I'll dish it in there. Yes, I did, Baba, Mama. Okay, so you can see the texture of the rice. You can see that the rice is well cooked. Okay. So we do that continuous process. So if you have like a party, that's how we used to do it. You cook lots of. Yes, Mama. When you have a party, you boil lots of rice. Keep it. And then when as people are coming in, they're like, oh, there's some people, okay, let's pour some rice for them. That's how I learned how to cook this fried rice. You can see it's amazing. The vegetables are well cooked. The rice looks yummy with the prawns in there. Absolutely. And if you are Zambian, you will combination the pot.
time for the taste and another thing guys you can do is you can also get what you call tenderizer and add it Keep on frying the rice whenever anyone wants to eat. So meanwhile, there's only about three people available now to eat. But this one I'm eating it alone. <laughs> Watch out for my next video of how I cooked the pork. Love you guys. Yeah.